I can think of two things that have been perfectly preserved. This book and this human being. But even though we can all agree that my friend Yorick here has been perfectly preserved from the day he was born, there's still quite a bit of disagreement about whether the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Some Muslim scholars, like Sheikh Yasser Qadi, do believe that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Other Muslim scholars, like Sheikh Yasser Qadi, don't believe that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Whom should we believe here? Should we believe Sheikh Yasser Qadi, who says that there's only one Quran with no differences anywhere? Or should we believe Sheikh Yasser Qadi, who says that there are different Qurans in different parts of the world? I say we should let the two Sheikh Yasser Qadis lay out their claims in an epic debate so we can see who's telling the truth. We'll start with Sheikh Yasser Qadi speaking to a predominantly Christian audience in a church. Uh, and the Quran, uh, there's only one uh, Quran. There are no various versions or, or whatnot. It's one standard copy of the Quran across the Muslim world. And uh, really, there's not been any variant versions of the Quran. The Quran is the Quran for all sects and schisms and groups of Islam. And we also, all Muslims, take pride in the fact there is but one Quran. There's no variants of the Quran. Did you catch that? There's only one Quran with no variants anywhere. There is but one Quran. There's no variants of the Quran. Dr. Qadi is adamant that there are no variants. Indeed, he declares on his YouTube channel that there hasn't been so much as a single letter's difference between any two manuscripts of the Quran from the time of the Caliph Uthman. So the Caliph Uthman standardized the copies of the Quran, and therefore, from his time up until our time, there has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word, and this is because of the far-sightedness of the Caliph Uthman. And really, Muslims are very humble and very proud and very uh, grateful to God that they're the only religious group that can, with so, so much authority, say that their scriptures really have been preserved authentically. The Quran is the most protected of all scriptures. And in fact, we as Muslims believe that God in his divine wisdom and plan has protected the Quran from any type of alteration, from any type of deviation, from any type of, of, uh, uh, of, uh, uh, mis of miswriting. No differences between any two manuscripts of the Quran from the time of the Caliph Uthman. Not one different word, not one different letter. And therefore, from his time up until our time, there has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word. Well, Sheikh Yasser Qadi has presented his case for the perfect preservation of the Quran. All Muslims have exactly the same Quran. From the time of Uthman, all copies of the Quran have been completely identical, right down to the word, right down to the letter. No variance anywhere doesn't get any clearer than that. Unfortunately for Sheikh Yasser Qadi, he didn't realize that he'd be facing Sheikh Yasser Qadi, who's about to blast these claims by Sheikh Yasser Qadi. Let him have it, Sheikh Yasser Qadi. And when we say the various different ways to recite the Quran, we are not talking about different voices or different styles. We're talking about slight differences in pronunciations, slight differences in letters, slight differences in harakat. In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you're going to see differences between them. Especially those who have been exposed to uh, some of our brothers who live in Algeria or Morocco or other North African countries, they recite the Quran in a slightly different way. Not just a voice or not just a, 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 a speaking style, but also changes in letters and, and, and words and uh, harakat. And these variances are memorized in specialized institutions known as the schools of the Qiraat. Wow! So, contrary to Sheikh Yasser Qadi's claim that there are no differences between any two copies of the Quran, there are, in fact, differences? In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you're going to see differences between them. There are different letters and different words? changes in letters and, and, and words and uh, harakat. There are variants? And these variances are memorized in specialized institutions. 
But didn't Sheikh Yasser Qadi say that there were no differences between any two copies of the Quran since the time of Uthman? No differences in letters? No differences in words? No variants whatsoever? There is but one Quran. There's no variance of the Quran. And therefore, from his time up until our time, there has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word. But now we're hearing from Sheikh Yasser Qadi that you can put two Qurans side by side and see the differences, differences in words, differences in letters? In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you're going to see differences between them. Changes in letters and, and, and words and uh, harakat. And these variances are memorized at specialized institutions. Take that, Sheikh Yasser Qadi. So, we've heard from the Sheikh Yasser Qadi who speaks to non-Muslims and to uninformed Muslims, and this Sheikh Yasser Qadi declares that no two copies of the Quran since the time of Uthman differ in any way whatsoever. There are no variants. But we've also heard from the Sheikh Yasser Qadi who speaks to informed Muslims, students of knowledge, and this Sheikh Yasser Qadi says that there are differences, there are variants. Two Qurans placed side by side from different parts of the world will have different letters and different words. Which Sheikh Yasser Qadi is correct, I'll let you decide. But keep in mind that whichever Sheikh Yasser Qadi is telling the truth, the other Sheikh Yasser Qadi is lying. So, one of these Sheikh Yasser Qadis is a liar, a deceiver, a charlatan, a con artist. But be careful because Sheikh Yasser Qadi is also a narcissist, and he does not like being exposed. In fact, if someone exposes Sheikh Yasser Qadi's lies, here's what the Sheikh will say about him. He's a vulgar, obscene, evil jerk. I mean, honestly, there's nothing else to be said. At least I'm not a liar. Cheers, and Yasser Qadi tears.